Okay, here we are. We're going to test some fuels today. Uh, all you tech directors, we're going to show you how to tech fuel. We just came back from London, Ohio, where cars were popping, sputtering. If a car is hard to start on the racetrack, it means it's way too lean. You know, it's one of the easiest things people do, and they never check for it. So we're going to show you how easy it is to do fuel. Uh, so right here, we have our hydrometer. You need a hydrometer. Gasoline is going to fall in the range of 700 to 800, usually around 730, 732 in the winter, 715, 725. And then you need a temperature gauge because everyone that you check has to be the same temperature. So it's good to take the fuel and let it sit so they all equalize in temperature. It'll make your job go a lot faster because you cannot um, account for the difference in temperature. Every point in temperature the fuel goes up, it's going to go up one or two points on your hydrometer. So if your fuel's five degrees difference, it's going to go up, you know, five, six, four points, and then some are going to be colder, and it's all over the map. That's the only thing that's confusing about fuel. They've got all to be the same temperature. All right, so right here we have our 250 milliliter test tube. Go ahead and put the fuel in. We're going to fill it to 250. You can go over. The thing is, if you go under, sometimes the bobber bottoms out in the bottom of the, uh, the glass. I'm going to put a thermometer in here. Hold the uh, test tube. And here we go. We're going up to 250 milliliters. That's good. If you put too much in, you go and you put your hydrometer in and then you'll overflow the uh, overflow the tank. So uh, right here, our temperature, let's see, there it is. A few minutes ago, we did this other video and it was uh, 18 and now it's still pretty much 18 degrees, which is about 64 degrees, which was about what it was at the racetrack the other day. So I'm just gonna pull the thermometer out. And now here's our hydrometer. It's bobbing around, it's equalizing, and you can see it's at 730, exactly around where it should be. In the summertime, there might be a different blend then right now, the win there's a winter blend. They go up and down a little bit, but uh, they should all be the same. You can get your gas in Texas. You can get it in Florida. You can get it anywhere you want, and it will never be more than three points up or down. You can get premium, and it'll be one or two points off. You know, um, regular and the mid-grade are like one point from each other. So they give you, USAC gives you five points. So that's where the problem is because people take advantage of the five points. So right now, again, we're at 730. Now we have sitting here nitromethane and methanol. So if we add, let's add enough met methane to go to uh, methanol to go to 735. Go ahead, add our methanol. No, you can leave that in there because they can watch it. They can watch the number go up. So of course it was 7:30. Oh man, just that little bit. Keep on going. Hopefully we don't overflow our container. Right there. And now we're at. Oh, we're not even there yet. Keep going. I'm gonna fill her to the rim. We need a waste cup so we can dump this to put the other one in. Okay, right there, we're at 735. Still, okay, so they're giving you five points. At Midwest Thunder, for some reason, they extend it to seven points. Boy, we could add more methanol in there. Hotter we can get this fuel, hotter it's gonna burn, the more those cars are gonna pop when they come off the racetrack. So now we're, we're at the limit of our container, so we're gonna dump that out. So right there with methanol, 
I don't even know what percent that was. We can calculate it after. Um, we're at 735. Still well within USAC's hokey limit of five and five points and Midwest Thunder's hokey limit of seven points. So a lot of room to play with fuel. You can also add, we're only adding methanol to this and nitromethane. Wait until you see the nitromethane, what it does. And you can add stable, you can add octane boost, you can add all kinds of things to your fuel and they won't know. The other thing is all the fuels when they tech them, they should all be the exact same color. Like right here, you can see the methanol's clear, the nitromethane has a little yellow tint to it, and our gasoline is yellow as well. So just from the color of the fuel, you can tell. Now you might ask, why do I know so much about fuel? Because our very first race we ever won three years ago at Waterford, they DQ'd us for low performance fuel. It was five points under. While other people had clear fuel, ours was yellow. One guy had fuel and it looked like, we joked how it looked like white lightning. And uh, and I, the last person I thought was getting DQ'd that day was us. But that was our very first first place win. They took away the trophy and um, said that we were cheating on low performance fuel. That's a new all time low, I would say. All right, so now we got our test tube in there. Doesn't really matter, everything's still the same temperature, so we don't really have to read the temperature again. It was 64 degrees. Again, we put it back in there. Amazingly, look, it's at 730 again. So if all these gases were coming from the same gas station, they would be identical. All right, start dumping in the nitro. It ain't gonna take much. Holy cow, look at that bobber go. So we are at 730. And uh, we're up to 745. All right, so last year we were at Indy, right? We were in fuel, they did fuel test. Fuel came 12 points over. How would it be 12 points over? Amazing. We also came from North Carolina last year and in Indy fuel was 22 points over. How could it be 22 points over? Well, if you go to Indy, they like testing fuel. So, if somebody has to push a car around a track two times and it won't start, it's because the fuel leans it out. And when you lean the car out, it doesn't want to start. So that's a tattletale sign right there. And plus, the car's gonna be way faster than the rest of the cars. But again, this is kids racing and nobody cheats in kids racing. So that's why we're here to show the tech directors how to catch the people and how to do the right fuel tests. So again, they brush these DQs under the carpet depending on who you are. So you'll never hear about them, but there are plenty of people that know about it. So that's our fuel test for today. So MP says 3% uh, nitro is the ticket. But right here, I've been recording fuels for about a year now. And here's my magic formulas right here. 7% of methanol will get you under five points every time. 6% uh, will get you negative five points. And then... If you have, uh, if you want to be in the safe zone, these are all the safe zones right there. Here's gas from last month. Here's gas from last year. I take our track sample home from every single track and test it. And it always falls in the same range. Now again, if the temperature goes up and down, that fuel will um, go up and down in points. So I'm gonna find a page where we're testing and um, right here at 11 degrees Celsius, 11 degrees Celsius, the gas was coming out at 729, but at 14 degrees, it was 731. So again, you gotta watch that temperature of the fuel. These are all baselines right here. This was all Kroger gas. Again, 15 degrees Celsius, 
versus 13 degrees Celsius, 721 versus 723. You will never be five points over unless you manufacture fuel, unless you're putting an additive in that fuel. That fuel, if it comes from that same gas station, will be exactly the same every single time. So I think that's about all you need to know about fuel. So hopefully you tech directors will start checking fuel. Thanks for watching our video.